good morning students i already covered the procedure to draw flow charts by hand in the previous demonstration so now i will demonstrate how to draw flow charts in ms word you already familiar with ms word there is an insert menu okay i'm clicking on insert menu now on the toolbar so actually it is called ribbon bar here there is one option that is called shapes when i click on the shapes it presents one drop down menu there is a, a group that is known as flow chart see these are the flow chart symbols as we already know that any flow chart begins with a terminator that is here this is the terminator select this one now the mouse pointer is changed to block plus symbol drag it and draw here is so this is the terminal symbol that is the beginning point of the flow chart by default it may filled with a color so you may have colored flow chart or you can have very plain so to format it with the different color settings just select this like here when you select this terminal terminator symbol you will get some action point uh, action points that is around the terminator that is totally eight points are there i can drag it or i can minimize it like this and to change the color come to this point there you have many options so select any one so this is the colored outline black dark color or if you want to have filled color with shared effect you can select this one i will select this one here is and this terminator symbol is empty i will fill the color i already filled the color i want to type the color text here is right click on this terminator symbol it will provide one pop up menu there is one option that is add text if it is empty symbol you will get add text if it's already some text then you will get edit text select this one then the cursor will appear inside the terminator symbol so i will type it start so this is the start terminator likewise i will draw one more this or i can select the same symbol copy and paste so there will be two symbols this will be the end so i will edit it to stop now i'll make a <coughs> some gap here is because i want to insert one more here again go to insert shapes here the flow chart i will select one that is parallelogram used for input and output select any color format for example select this green one right click on this symbol a component select add text and i will type it print hello so this is the message that will be displayed if this code uh, flowchart is converted into executable code in any computer programming language i have placed it then to have the flow of execution i have to use arrow it is again available in insert shapes arrow symbols need not be here is i can go for 
already available lines group so there is one single headed arrow i will select this just drag the line from one edge of the component to border edge of another one likewise here also you can have any colored lines and here also you can have copy paste method or you can draw another one for example it is insert menu shapes arrow symbol one edge of the top component drag it down then another one that is the arrow headed edge is connected to stop terminator click here any color you want you can apply it so this is one simple example how to draw flowchart in ms word but you can draw it you can place it but it's not so convenient to draw flowchart in ms word instead of this we can draw the flowchart in powerpoint also let's go for powerpoint so this is the powerpoint window and i will draw one flowchart here also i have insert menu shapes again terminator symbol from the flowchart i can group i will drag it and draw it here is likewise in the ms word here also i can have the formatted terminator box right click on the component select edit text now the cursor appears inside the block i will type here is start likewise i will drag one more shapes i will go for the parallelogram symbol right click on this component click on edit text i will type the message and change the size and i'll drag one more insert menu shapes terminal window or oh sorry terminal component i'll make it as end of the flowchart symbol where is stop one advantage of powerpoint is that when you drag arrow symbol from one end to uh, one component another one it shows action points so that dragging arrow symbol is much easier in powerpoint here is when i i have selected in the insert shapes i have selected one arrow symbol observe that immediately the selected items sorry I'll select here once again select when i bring the mouse pointer on the component it shows four action points in that select any one just press the mouse button down and drag it and bring it to another one see it shows many points and leave it if you have placed the arrows correctly then even if you change the location see it should come again okay now i'm getting observe that even if i change the location of the component the corresponding error also changes its location
likewise i'll drag one more insert shapes arrow See now this is one simple example for drawing the flowchart in MS PowerPoint. I will just maximize that slide show. This is the flowchart. So actually the drawing flowchart is by hand in exams. So you have to write the flowcharts by hand in your answer sheets. But sometimes you may have to draw the flowchart in computers also. So then you can utilize this information to draw the flowchart and to have the soft copy of the flowchart in your computers or even in your any other storaging places. So this is for drawing the flowcharts in MS Word and PowerPoint and much easier conveyor, uh, convenient software is there that is called it is draw.io. I will explain about this in the next video. So I will conclude this video here itself. Thank you.